Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Charlie, here we are, day one of IBC. How's it been so far? Okay, look, it's been fantastic. It's been a really busy day today, um, much better than last year. Numbers for us have, have been up. Um, this year we're showcasing uh, a new product, or I should say second generation of an existing product that uh, we ended a couple of years ago. It's called the Bridget Extra 2, and uh, it specializes not only just in IP audio, but also all the audio over IP standards. And that is natively straight out of the box. It will support AES67, fully compliant, ST2110-30, ST22-7, your blue red network with hitless packet redundancy, um, Ravenna, Livewire Plus, uh, NMOS, straight out of the box. Um, and this is where a lot of broadcasters are now heading towards a lot of IP, bit in radio and TV, and that's where this product sits well from a radio perspective. It's great for contribution. Um, studio transmission links um, studio to studio and from a TV world perspective it works very well for four wire intercom and, and IFB and has all the interoperability standards set by the EBU such as um, RFC 3326 and RFC uh, 3347 so it allows a lot of interoperability between all the product. Talk to me about Tyline and where you're positioned in the broadcast and media industry. So Tyline has been an organisation that's been around now for, for around 30 years. Um, we're based in Perth, Australia. We do all our in-house manufacturing and, and development and export around the world. We have an office in the United States which provides a lot of coverage, backup coverage between our two sites for all of our customers. In terms of our positioning, we're very much in the audio segment um, of broadcast and that's live audio as well as audio that can be done for podcasts, uh, commentary for sports um, and for live events. And talk to me about the trends that you're seeing unfolding in the industry and how you're meeting those trends when it comes to your customers. In terms of the customers increasingly they're asking for more in a box for less and that could be less boxes they're also focused on, you know, in terms of what they have to invest in terms of money out of the hip pocket. But the transition has been a very big one in IP. And essentially what we've developed is a box that's not only for today, but it's also for tomorrow. Because some aren't ready to go and make that leap of faith into IP audio, but we support the pre-existing analog and AS3 input and output standards as well as the audio over IP. And what are you showcasing for the very first time here at IBC? So for the very first time this year at IBC, we're showcasing the Bridget Extra 2. Um, at NAB, we launched the, the smaller version of it, which was the Bridget 2. And, but here at IBC, it is the Bridget Extra 2. And day one, lots of hype, so very exciting times. And on that note, what do you think the future holds for Tyline? Look, I think it, uh, it holds a very great deal of uh, promise for us and, and, and the industry as a whole because we have specialized in IP audio now for over 20 years and so generally as an industry it's it's taken some time to shift that and, and radio has gone there before TV and now TV is now rapidly going down that pathway and so that's that's what we hope to continue to, to benefit from but the clear thing is, is listening to the customers in the market and, and bringing what, what they need. So finally, Charlie, where can people go to find out more information? Look, the best place to go, like always, is, is visit the web. So if they go to our website, which is www.tyline.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much and have a great show. You too, Kelly. Thanks very much and have a great day and look forward to the next time.